Hanson down two to nothing to Brian McComb. Okay, now we're ready. Hanson sets, coming in on the right side. Hanson trying to hit a quick switch right off the whistle. Going to grab a leg and try to do that pick and step the beat that he'd like to use. Trying to enhance him towards the edge. Tough Gibson also out on the mat as well. He's going for a pin. Tough Gibson has his opponent on mat number one, two on his back. And he gets the pin. Well, I think that's... Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I've got the wrong... I'm ahead of mat. Oh, I'm one okay. match, one number ahead. I thought that was 306. That was 305. Okay. Orange singlet. I saw it. Okay, Brian McCone with a near wrist and... Uh, Bust Hanson forward. Hanson got dinged real early on the stall. McComb has done nothing from the top for well over a period. He's still hanging on to that two to nothing lead. Caleb Pearson continues to trail by a score of four to one. Just under a minute to go in the second period of that 189 pound semifinal match. Hanson tries to stand up. McComb grabs an ankle and settles that down. Now do what he's done for three minutes here to stick his hand between Hanson's legs and bust him forward till they run out of room. And Jacob Gerken's being called. Finally, no, I thought they were going to call a stall warning on McComb, but they're just going to say he's on top. Uh, <laughs> now here's Tough Gibson and Marino out on mat number two. Lane Kruger, uh, Caleb Christensen of Akron, still on mat three, and now we have Fort Morgan's Jacob Gherkin on mat number one. So four area wrestlers all of a sudden after a lot of the night not uh, having any. I think that's, that's not, not Gherkin. Yeah, that's not Gherkin. Maybe he's next available. And we get a... Okay. Yeah, he's McCone. the next matchup. Another point on stalling on Hanson, and McCone hasn't done nothing for four minutes. <laughs> I can't believe that one. As, uh, Sometimes I think you get a regional referee that likes somebody and uh, they're going to call it a little bit different. Hanson's still on the bottom with uh, 33 seconds left. We get a false start against McCone. Caleb Christensen trailing 4-1. to one. 14 seconds left in the second period there. And Tough Gibson and Marino out underway as well. Hanson trying to hit a switch off the whistle where the cone steps over it. And now uh, just grab that tight waist. Reaching for a half Nelson. Hanson trying a little arm drag. And we get a stalling warning and a point to Hanson. They finally call McCone. They must have called one earlier somewhere. That makes it three to one with 13 seconds. They'll restart. Uh, Cal Charrington up with a lot of coaching on the sidelines. Just sit down, Chick Cal. They don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb Christensen, a break going into the third period. He trails 4-1. to one. No score yet in Tough Gibson's match. Scoreless 15 seconds left in the first period there. The 13 seconds left. A little Grammy roll by uh, Hanson. They can't break free of McCone. And he clocked down to five seconds, four seconds. And McCone just hanging on as he has for uh, about five minutes. And he'll be the winner, three to one, over uh, Shea Hansen. Maybe that's why they waited four minutes to get the official they wanted down there. You know? <laughs> I, I thought you promised, Rob. Uh, you got to tell it like it is. Uh, are you disagreeing with me? I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's neutral up there. I'm not sure how he's going to vote. I'm watching the other two matches going on here. We've got okay, we better get to that then. <laughs> Tough Gibson in the second period. No score in that match. Tough Gibson on the bottom. Okay, the Christian going uh, at 189 pounds. Tough Gibson at 215. Caleb up. We're down 42 as he drives his opponent off the mat. Down 42, 189 pound freshman at 36 and 0. How often have you seen that, Rob? No, well, not often. But we've still got a minute 10 left as they're on their feet. 
Ari Laughlin out of Baca County. Chuck Gibson goes out of bounds, just still in the bottom position. No score in the second period there. Caleb Christensen pulls to within one point as it's four to three in favor of Laughlin of Baca County. position on their feet. Down to 40 seconds, he's down by one, 43. Tough Gibson stands up, trying to peel the wrist and run away. He gets pulled down to the mat by Tyson Mitchick of Cheyenne Wells. Okay, Christian's trying to fight off single leg while they're out of bounds. And they'll have to restart, but we're down to 24 seconds. Caleb down by one. Tough Gibson and Mitchick Pretty close to the out of bounds. Christian like tries a shot. Yeah, tries a switch on the way down. They'll be out of bounds. We're down to 13 seconds. Mitchek put Tough Gibson on his back for a two count and got two near fall points. He's going to lead with 20 seconds left in the second period, two to zero. Oh, and there's a stall call. That's going to tie it up with Christian as he's gone for the takedown. And Caleb Christian steps over, gets the takedown with two seconds on the clock. He's going to come from behind and win this thing, six to four. To upsets an undefeated freshman from Baca County, six to four. Undefeated no more. Okay, how about that? Tough Gibson gets a reverse right off the whistle there. Puts Mitchek on his back. There's some back points coming. Picked up two back points just at the end of that second period. Jeff Gibson now going to lead four to two going into the